Hello, I'm going to give you a quick overview of Science Online, our award-winning database that provides expansive coverage of the full range of scientific disciplines. You can see right from our homepage that this comprehensive resource includes e-learning modules on high-interest science topics, animations and videos, interactive experiments, featured diagrams and key people, as well as a wealth of additional resources, core topic centers, and science in the news. Now let's take a more detailed look at what's in the database. If you click on the Sources link in the menu, you'll see right up front that the database includes close to 65,000 articles from an extensive list of encyclopedias, reference books, chaptered narratives, research guides, and journals. If you scroll down and click on a book title, like Germ Theory 2nd Edition, you will see the complete table of contents. All of these articles, as well as articles from hundreds of other books and journals, are included in this comprehensive database. Next, let's click on the Images tab. Here you will see that we include more than 9,000 images and diagrams from such well-known sources as NASA, the Library of Congress, NOAA, and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, as well as other prestigious photo archives and collections. Need a photo of the historic Apollo 11 moon landing? You'll find it here. Looking for a diagram of Earth's climate system? You'll find it here too. Now let's take a quick look at the remaining sources tab. Under the video tab, you'll see that we've included close to 7,500 video clips from such well-known producers as the American Museum of Natural History, British Path, the BBC, the WPA Film Library, Cambridge Educational, and many others. These are great for teaching and can even be embedded into practically any learning management system. The next tab is our timelines. We have 19 different timelines covering both scientific eras and broad science topics with more than 7,700 entries. And finally, our Contributors tab provides a partial list of the many acclaimed authors, academics, and editors responsible for the scholarship behind all that you'll find in this database. Now let me show you how you can use this database. Basically, there are two ways. One is to search for what you're looking for. The other is to browse. If you go the search route, you simply type in a word or phrase and you get relevant tabbed results organized by media type with filters along the right rail to help you narrow the results. For example, let's type in climate and click on the search suggestion, climate change. As you can see, you get a long list of relevant results under each tab. When you click on an article like the sixth one down, you'll get the full text of this extensive article and information on where it came from. In this case, the Encyclopedia of Earth and Space Science. If you click on any other tabs, you'll get whatever experiments, images and diagrams, videos, timelines and news that relate to climate change. If you're coming to this resource without a specific search in mind, a great way to explore and get some ideas for a research paper is to browse our topic centers. Our editors have pulled together topic centers on each major scientific discipline, including biology, chemistry, physics, earth science, and computer science, among others. Let's look at the topic center on chemistry. The first thing you'll find is a hand-selected list of overview articles that give you a broad understanding of the discipline in an organized manner, covering the major themes in that subject area. You'll also find a list of suggested research topics, which are the most searched and highly relevant terms for this topic. Next, on the right rail, you'll find videos and animations, related experiments, related diagrams, tables and data, and a timeline. This page basically contains everything a student might need if they were studying this subject in class or about to write a research paper. And, unique to this product, you'll find a collection of e-learning modules that provide course-length coverage of high-interest science topics such as biomes of the earth, energy and the environment, and genetics and evolution, to name just a few. These expanded sources include chaptered narratives, related videos and animations, diagrams and images, and a chronology. You can also browse our resources and see our extensive collection of diagrams, experiments, tables and data, and more. 
Finally, we have a Science in the News section that features up-to-date articles on the most recent advances in scientific research, distilled into easy-to-understand language for all readers. So that's the quick tour. I hope you'll take some time to look around on your own. We think you'll be impressed. If you would like to speak to someone about our flexible subscription plans, please contact us. We'd love to hear from you.